Okay, so welcome back. We will go quickly for the your questions for the last two weeks. If I want to make it into a video mode, like this ball in the back, here changing color, back and forth, how do I do that? Uh, I'm not really get the question, the question here. I think if you can explain me a bit more better okay what this sour do let's go and get a quick experiment <coughs> first of all if you don't know how to use top or do anything uh, we have operator snippet We go top and see if it does this have so okay this one does not have so here <coughs> okay so <coughs> let's create some geometry <coughs> we need some light we need some material and we need some camera And we need some render and we can use cell here okay in this case it's not much difference you know let's create the some box Let's set up the null for camera just to look at null. So now I can move my camera. <coughs> and I can create some noise. Connect it to null. In the noise, I will write the channels XYZ. Go to geometry, go to hmm? uh, something strange with my mouse happened. Something really strange happened with my mouse. Okay, I can track this. Another geometry. Instancing on. Instant operator and for X, Y, and Z position. Let's set up parameters. So let's create some box here. Let's put maths, maths here, or I can, in this case, I can just go here and then noise amplitude change. So you see, this is original render, this is sour. So sour, it's pretty much, it can give, uh, I forget how it, screen space ambient inclusion so you see here it's have a little bit different a, a little bit reflection for shadows and for light parts so 
So if I want to add a little bit more texture, more like depth on like real time looking to my render, I can use so. And basically I can adjust parameters. Then then more simple, then like more accurate it gonna be, but it's gonna take also more time to calculate. You also simple step, all right. So full resolution, quarter, cluster health, and radius, how it's gonna affect. So this is basically just calculate the bouncing and reflectance of the light. Yeah, so you can add a little bit more real time looking. That's basically what so doing. Look up, chop, what do? For example, I can create lag, not lag, LFO. And let's say make it ramp and I can create some wave. Maybe like this. Look up. And now you see what the lookup doing. It's take the current position. It is 0 0.08. So it's calculate where is this 0 0.08. It's around here now. So this is from zero to one now. Because the, ran the range from zero to one you see here. So it is around here. So basically, it's like, I would say it's like map pretty much in processing. I give some map function to look at and I give the current position, current value. So it's see, okay, if this current value here, what value should be, it's gonna be here. So zero to one. If my LF, okay, we can create like constant here. And I can connect it here again. And you see, if my value is zero, it's gonna be zero. Now I move till my value can get like to one. Okay, one, zero, 25. Yeah, it's like around quarter. My value is gonna be one. So it's see, it's map this value from zero to one to this value. It's the same if you use in the tops you also have this kind of like function look up <clears throat> and now i can just change uh, so what has changed now now it's the same but zero to one it's here now it's the value here if it's here white, it's one, so it's gonna get red value. If it's black, it's gonna get green value. So this is lookup. Top, each of. So that's if you need to map your some value, <coughs> your channel or your color. Yeah, about geometry, it's just a different versions of Touch Designer. Ah, uh, that's what I, again, so here we have geometry, instance, something wrong with geometry here. Let's just ignore it somehow. So, to make instancing, okay, you watch few tutorials, you already should know, so you need to disable. If it's different, it's just like different version. You need to adjust. So here we can set up default op, or we can now apply different operators here separately. And we choose which channel, yeah, effect what. That's what we did like quickly here in cell. 
because this one for example I can use just here and it's gonna be the same X Y Z so in new versions it's just a little bit more ability to fine-tune it because I can apply different operators here different values where is active where is not active like a little bit more different parameters here num points mean <coughs> okay let's create line so and I will create constant here and for constants I will get points and I what I can get I can get op line one num points so num points it's it mean in case of these soaps and geometry I can ask how many points this geometry have you work with 3d yeah in cinema 4d I don't know like unreal like others Houdini you know this polygon so again here you see I have two points uh, let's put me null here a little bit make it small no one so for example for this line if I want a 20 point it's change or I can create the sphere <coughs> connect here and this sphere have this ha sphere have 722 points right or it can be like any object I import to Cinema 4D not Cinema 4D to Touch Designer Okay, about so I already talk shuffle and select mm. Sh shuffle use a lot for some different things let's say we have three lower three columns <coughs> mm, tabel evaluate Uh, what this was, I forget. TDU random. <coughs> Rent. Hmm? Ah, okay. <coughs> ah, let's do it this simple way. Nice. Let's create color noise two hundred fifty by one pixel and convert it to the not by one it's easier by 10 for example and let's convert it to the top and in crop i need set up full image mm. 
Excel row column. It's weird. Okay, rows and columns. So now you see for each yeah, something strange. So now I convert all colors here, but for example, if I wanted to send this data out, I need to combine R, G, and B. So now, but now for each pixel line, I have one channel. So for this, we can use shuffle. And in shuffle, I can tell it. Seconds, channels by name. So now it's connect all R, red channels together r0 r1 r2 so it's one red channel one g one b and one alpha channel so here we have 256 samples 40 channels and here you have four channel and 200 2560 samples so four channels rgb <coughs> and you see it's become like 10 times more longer because here we have 10 instance of each of them this is how shuffle work i uh, with shuffle also i can do opposite if i have something like this i can split them i can tell okay split all samples now it's every separate or split every end sample okay 256 for example and now i will get to i know and simple so and now I get back to the same one like here select do different things we select I can choose the channel <coughs> I want to use r0 for example but it will be just r0 right different okay we select also I can rename it to something so that's the difference So here he shuffle all channels together and he select just one channel, color channel here in select. Uh, in which function could be good to know, but what merge doing? It's just combining different channels to one chop. I can have one noise <coughs> and I can have another noise. And with merge, I just can combine them together in one chop. So I can work with them together or like send to instancing or whatever. Why add rest between video and no? Yeah, resolution usually we getting clover for reduce details. Okay, if we I wanna instance it, I need for like each pixel get some instance for full resolution. It could be like too big, or I don't need so much details, so I can reduce. <coughs> Soap to chop. It's used to convert. geometry to the channels so you see so this is circle have 722 22 points so now I have here 722 samples and TX so for each point here I have X Y and Z position that how a circle or like sphere sphere gonna looks in channels in numbers Uh, 
Ah, for this four colors it's <clears throat> so we go to the sour. So for example, I can create another noise here. And this second noise I can just put to the color instance to the VD color mode color OP and I can set up okay X gonna be one color Y and Z so now you see they have different colors and pretty simple right you see again we saw it's a little bit more kind of like shadow effect <clears throat> so this is one way to deal with colors and another way is to use mm, Movie file in, for example, let's get some video here. And this is we can apply to the texture 3D soap. And this I can apply again here. Mm. So here I can make wave, for example, and just ramp. And here I can set up two samples. So I can define how many samples. Okay, it's also 600. I just can write here operator noise two num samples. And it should be minus one from zero to one. And here I have how many I can set up. Okay, let's say I have 100 of them. Here I can set up map, and again, for if I can set up period, more like this. And in math, I can set up from 0 to 1 to 0 to 100, for example, but I need integer. So I can just do something like this, put to another node, and apply it to the geometry, usually to textual coordinates. And V, it's gonna be ah, not this one. No, we're gonna be this channel, and this I can apply to not PPR, I think. Let's apply to funk. Let's move more far away. Let's add more noise here. Okay, now they work together. Uh, Texture mode. Mm. Uh, 
I think it should be here. Not this. Yeah, now you see how it's gonna change. Oops, 100. Here from 0 to 100. Why well, it doesn't update now? It should. Ah, no, it, it works, it's updated. Tip size 5. So you see it's. So now you see I apply different textures for different objects. I can make it a little bit more bigger so you will see it better. <coughs> so this is how here two few ways how you can change color for each texture separately. This I'm not sure the question. What do you mean spreading out? You think one the point spreading out now? I just like adjust the position, just multiply it. Yeah. I can make here make it move also. Hmm. <coughs> okay, this was week seven. Now we go to week 8. Uh, okay, this is tutorial. Yeah, you see this. I'm not sure. Paketa. Because in Russian is Raketa, rocket. I mean. So you can find his tutorials on YouTube. He have a lot of interesting tutorials. Different methods, how to work with tops. That kind of also interesting because he mostly focused on the texture operator about the compo different compositing techniques and how to do like multiplication calculation on texture operators so we just like paqueta 12 you just google it you will find uh, what this loop mean actually I show you last year feedback and we, we quite often using feedback so I think you just can go feedback the design feedback and you will find a lot of tutorial how to what is feedback loop doing basically one of the simplest explanation like we did you remember when processing we can leave the previous frame by not po not fully redrawn the background but redrawn it with some transparency for example let's make i can make small some circle here small <coughs> i can put transform on it to make it move some noise I will change it to the time slice and it's gonna be XY size and I just will apply X to X Y to Y size to size okay it's move like this and now for example I can make composite or like Add. usually it's go composite here because it's more different expression add and I can add some feedback so feedback needs some initial va initial value so usually it's this and it have output and in my composite I will combine together feedback and all but to get feedback I put composite here so feedback will keep the last value of composite 
chop. So now you see this is kind of effect we have. And now I can uh, use a lot of different ways like like common use some like levels. I can uh, add some opacity. So it will like disappears this time, right? Uh, usually I recognize a black level I need to set up here to at least 002 to do not have some background. Uh, I just can add some color to my sphere and I can use for example HSV adjust here. to get some interesting effect. All right, again. So it's always draw with red one, but then more like tail it in memory before, then more it's change color. So it's a lot of different ways you use feedback for what, but yeah, it's kind of, you can add a lot of, I can add some simple transform here. After feedback, for example, make it a little bit bigger each time. So now it's, you see, it's kind of like grow, right? So if like, right adjustment, right values, you can get kind of interesting result. To make trail, to make some like blue, like whatever. Yeah, okay, it's too much. <clears throat> P0, P1, P2, here. It depends of the what you're doing again as I talk okay we can convert sphere position to these numbers but p0 p1 p2 it's also the parameters because for example if for geometry instancing now I can use SOPs also before it was not possible before you can use just like tops or like chops so, and here I have P0, P1, P2. So P0, it's pretty much, it's X, Y, and Z. Position zero, position one, position two. You remember P vector in processing, so it's P is basically just position vector and the value I get. And, and one and two, it's like normal. So for this, I can also use, for example, here. And I can set up the normal. Uh, not this, maybe. Rotate to vector. So that is if I want them. Yeah, you see, rotated. And this one I can just replace with something like line. Zero to one. It's already get like kind of this strange <laughs> effect, right? So now <coughs> I use each point on this geometry to instance the geometry inside. That's what this is. P means V it, because this here it's use particles, right? So let's do the same particle. And I can put it here again. And you see now we just like will emit particles the same. <coughs> because okay, particle have just a little bit. It have position, it have velocity, speed, it have state, alive or die, it have like life values. In the tutorial lifetime, when grip soap replace sphere soap, mine only has plain effect, nothing dynamic. 
Uh, uh, yours like this. Uh, because I think you you do not apply the really life here. Because if I will convert the particles to the chops, you see, okay, this is position, but I can see life attributes, ah. custom life. <coughs> so now I have life, yeah, and I can use this life again as I used here, for example, map to adjust the color. Sort, let's set up to random. So now it's a little bit more like this. <coughs> and I can use where is the color. I can use the same here. Uh, not here. Color. And I can use life, life, and life. Life zero. Yeah, it's changing. So you see when they appear. They appear as black, and after they becoming brighter and they white at the end of the lifetime. And for example, again, I put no here. Let's put this one. Life, life, life. <coughs> and here I can you select. And I want to use just life one. And what I can do with this, I can use again wave. So, yes, one wave, seven like 20. It starts from zero and it finish. And I can use look up. And it's going to be a little bit more. So it appears black, it's getting white and getting black again to the die. So now you see if I will stop it. So if the value here is zero, it will get this one. So here is the value. Okay, it's too, it's a little bit too, too high. Yeah. So I will need to adjust it basically. Or maybe here. It's from zero to f ah because the particle I can know now uh, life expectancy ten so here gonna be from zero to ten should be <coughs> yeah so and here I can also start from zero to ten and now you will see so it's pretty much the same but multiplied by this one yeah. So if I use this one and multiply by this one, we see value at 10, it's mean one, so it's gonna be zero. So at the value of five, it should be full one. So where is the five? It's full one. I about materials it's actually it's need to try point sprites use for particles more but to be honest I does not use point sprite even like for particles I usually use like normal chops of whatever ah point sprite you can apply to the particle geometry I think it's just <coughs> because it's real color points. You can apply normal color for them or you can apply po point sprite. Ah, let's try this. Let's 
put some geometry and just table this first <coughs> I need to render I will use just this geometry I need some light and I need some camera and for camera let's set up the background black so this is particles I can let's apply some constant to it okay now they just white what if I add some ramp and let's say I make it circular lamp ramp to this material so it does not change much because this is particle it's very small what if I apply point sprite here so I'm not sure but actually it should use this one for particle it's it's gonna be also based on the size of particle not this not this mm. so I'm not sure here but yeah I think this points price it's more for some for particle elements I'm not think it's gonna work much with other geometry well because it's not points mm. I don't know takes the I put in RGB and ah, so that the same as I told here to RGB I can apply just like any channel it could be color based from position it could be color based from whatever so as I show if you press middle mouse button here you can see what attributes this soap have it's have v3 p state life and so and by default it have like point position so normal soap it's have just like nor point position normal and UV coordinates particle have more so you can when you press middle about mouse button you can see what kind of attributes additional attributes you can get so for example I can get P state also here so you see and I need to ah if here I choose render as point sprites it should change the way particles doing because in this case it's gonna use not color it's gonna use really the object Yeah, for particles. Point reviews, jitter, curve move, tractor. <coughs> uh, what does this option mean? It means how the precision gonna be go for the chop calculate not chop for top calculation because for normal colors it's usually like 8 bit RGB because it's it's not really 
important for us here. Like in this case, we will not see difference between 8 bit and 16 bit. So 16 bit is gonna be much more precision after zero, for example. Zero point and da, 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 da. So if I need more precision, <coughs> I change it here because again, okay, now I use this nice here or I can use <coughs> this nice, let's say 600, one and it's gonna be not monochrome. I convert to the top and this top I convert here. <coughs> and here I need to replace this R G B and I need some math here <coughs> because it's from zero to one. Okay. Let's say from zero to one to minus ten to ten. And now you see if I will add some animation here. Ups times the uh, can let's make it much slower. Even more slower. So now you see how it's move. Yeah, it's jumping. Because the number here it's does not have enough precision. But if I will change the from 8 bit fix it to 8 bit float you see it's very smooth because now i have points between before i does not have points between two other points it does not have enough precision so this is just like it depends for some operation usually you just like always go with 8 bit rgb but if you will go work with like depth sensors for example you want a more precision or they give you like 16 bit float numbers or you need to do like really like physics calculation on tops again what paquette are doing a lot you will need more precisions if you want to make more smooth movement and more accurate calculation subtract one minus another one Why do we need to connect like this? A uh, flip, you see what flip doing? It's just like rotate it. You can flip like mirror or you can just like put on the side, yeah. And this is like a red canal, this is green canal. So that's how we make UV map. And to this UV map, we add another one map so red in this case it give you position x position y green it give you y position and this additional one you put he put here it's give y position that's how it's become three-dimensional not y yeah y green is z position depth uh, GLSL is another big topic. Ah, uh, yeah, so you have problem here because you have another version. If you work with GLSL, uh, you can change here, try different versions. Mm, depends which one your graphic card support and also like some of the old tutorials they use like old version, for example, GLSL. But on Max, new Macintosh, yeah, this is a big problem with GLSL now because Macintosh, they start to use their own appropriate system. Okay, here I already tell why we use ZTF B because you want a more smooth surface. Primitive SOP and attribute create. Okay, here we create some geometry, but for example, if you will change geometry or do some adjustment with it, you can, I don't know, 
even here I can let's create some facet or I can use some sphere mm. <coughs> I think it's gonna should be not yeah I think it should be polygons yeah for example I want something like this and usually this one should give me some error ah. not error warning because when I change adjust some geometry whatever I need to Sometimes I don't doesn't have attribute tangent. That's why we use attribute create. So compute normals and tangents. It just like will recalculate it after you change position of some points. So it will recalculate the and adjust. And primitive. So with this one, I can just do some adjustment for this. I can create some attribute color for this one, for example. And you see here, I will have some additional attribute color. And this is attribute I can use for something after to color the sphere, to give ID to this sphere, like to each, not sphere point, to give ID to each point or to do whatever. It's a little bit deeper. And always you can check here, operator snippets. So this is all question for today. Let's say primitive, so. deformation so so here we transform the primitives okay it's does not affect much but you see what is doing here okay for example you have this cu curve you can use primitive to convert it to close it uh, attribute create it does not have but attribute create it's usually just like to fix geometry after you do some adjustment to be sure that it's no problem there uh, that's all for today Seven, eight. Mm. See you in next class.